you are ready, let's start. So it's nice to introduce Nicole Kurnuso uh, from UG. Yes. And it's uh, going to talk about um, the Kugas attack for certain absorption for cohomology or hypercalar methods. Yeah. So uh, more or less my talk consists of about uh, definitions and statements without any proofs, but I will introduce some proofs also, maybe if I have time. Um, okay, so let's start. Um, so the main object of talk is the Hodge structures, and the Hodge structures are of weight n, uh, like on vector space, uh, is a given uh, by direct sum uh, of like, the composition of complex vector space, classification vector space, on with two ones. Uh, with like this condition, so VPQ bar is equal to v VQP. And uh, also I assume that both P and Q are positive, uh, non-negative. Okay, uh, well known that host structures of weight one uh, is like corresponds between host structures of weight one and complex tori. So if you have integral host structure of weight one, I can uh, construct a complex tori. So uh, what is where integral host structure of weight one? So it is the composition of complexification to one zero and zero one component. So when V is a weight at one zero component of uh, V of complexification. So that's like one way, vice versa is also not, not hard, so it's like not evident, but anyway. Uh, if I have a polarization on my host structure, uh, when it corresponds between abelian varieties and polarizable integral host structures of weight one, but in this talk I will skip uh, like polarization because it's maybe I have no time to do. Okay, and uh, let me speak a bit about original Kugis attack construction. So, uh, starting with host structure of K3 type, so we have uh, two zero components, one dimensional, and uh, we have just two zero component, one one component, and zero two component. Nothing more. So, this host structure is called K3 type, and original Kugis attack construction is the following. So, we, we start with host structure of K3 type, so host structure of weight two, and we uh, construct host structure of weight one, which is by the pre previous slide, like some complex torus. And this construction uh, is the following. So we start with uh, vector space, we have some form in it, and uh, complex torus is just uh, a quotient of uh, like even part of Clifford model corresponding to this vector space and uh, like quadratic form Q by uh, the even part of some other Clifford model. And the the point is the following. So if you have K3, so complex surface with uh, canon three canonical class, well, this form Q is just intersection form because this surface is two dimensional. Okay. Um, but the point is like, what is cool hierarchical construction for hypercalar manifolds? So K3 is hypercalar, but uh, more like, more or less definition is here. So we start with Riemannian manifold. We have three complex structures, it's fine quaternion relations and the uh, uh, corresponding color forms are closed. So this, this one is called, this manifold is called, is called hypercolor, and K3 is hypercolor, and also hypercolor manifolds, we, we have K3 type host structure second homology. Uh, sometimes the nice definition is used for a more simplistic manifold. It means we have some geomorphic two form, or, which is capital omega, and this form could be constructed for complex manifold M with complex structure I directly by the following. So it, it starts with omega J plus I omega K. This one is indeed two form, and this one non-degenerate, and this geomorphic two form. Okay, so this is indeed like a of two form. And if you have hypercranial manifold, so obviously you have this manifold is geomorphic simplistic, vice versa is not like true. If you have, uh, what is true? You have uh, geomorphic simplistic manifold, and it, this manifold is scalar, then this manifold is hypercalar. Okay, this is like more or less Calabria theorem. Um, okay, important class of hypercalar manifolds is so-called simple reducible hypercalar manifolds, so like hypercalar manifolds of uh, maximum gaonomy. So uh, this is simply connected, manifold is simply connected, and to zero parts is generated by one form, which is omega in the previous slide. And by Bogomov, we have the following comp the composition. So any hypercranial manifold is covered by the product of torus and some simple hypercranial manifolds. So uh, from now I assume that my hypercranial manifold is every time simple. 
Um, okay. And uh, to construct like original Kugis attack, to apply original Kugis attack, we need some form on second homology. <coughs> and this form is provided by uh, this theorem, for example, like Fujiki theorem. Uh, so we start with hyperkernel manifold when we when exists some integer quadratic form Q and some positive constant C such where the following holds. Uh, so from now, if I have hyperkernel manifold, it has K3 type uh, host, like uh, K3 type host structure, and I have uh, form Q, so I can apply the original Kugis attack. But the question, what, what happens with all other cohomology uh, except of second? So this gives us uh, some torus, but cohomology uh, of this torus, the big one, uh, we do not contain cohomology of all the kernel manifolds. So uh, the main theorem for today, the following theorem joint work with Andrei Sudasenkov and Misha Vibisky. So we have hyperkernel manifold when it exists. Uh, the following embedding of uh, like Lie algebra models. Uh, so, cohomology of hyperkernel manifold uh, like goes to cohomology of some uh, higher dimensional torus. And I will explain what, mean, what it does mean. Uh, totally algebra of manifold, but it's some good structure cohomology. And uh, uh, so, this embedding preserve uh, like it's, it's my field in host structures. So this is indeed the degeneration uh, of original Kugis attack. Okay, let's start with some definition. So if I have uh, graded commutative algebra uh, with like the last element of filtration is one dimensional, when I can uh, multiply two elements in this algebra and take uh, a, a, a R component of them, and this, if it's pairing is not degenerate, this Graded commutative algebra is called Fabinius algebra. And for Fabinius algebra, we can define Lefschetz triples. So if you take some element and, uh, in A2, we can construct three operators, uh, L, et, eta, and, uh, which is just multiplication by eta. Also, sigma, which is just on like, restriction on AI, is just multiplication of I minus N, so this is half dimension. Uh, and the last, the third element is constructed uh, such that three of them uh, generate a SL2. So this one uh, is like the risky open condition for eta and like A2. So it's, it's not obvious. But for hyperkernel manifolds by Wen, Gewunz, and Verbisky, it is known what uh, Lie algebra generated by all left triples uh, for any like elements, uh, two elements eta. Uh, is isomorphic to this Lie algebra so B2, uh, for B2 minus 2. So it's a huge Lie algebra, consists of all Lie triples generated by uh, two forms. So I, here I use like uh, what Kagamoj uh, of hyperkernel fault is indeed Fabinius algebra. So that's true. Okay, so uh, important fact what this like, huge Lie algebra consisting of all SL2 triples uh, also contains so-called well operators, which acts by uh, multiplication by the following uh, number. And the uh, important fact was the host structure on Kagamoji is induced by uh, action of Lie, this Lie algebra. So I'll use it later. So if I would like to understand what is the host structure, it's enough to understand what is action of this huge Lie algebra consisting of all uh, SL2 triples. Okay, the next like, element of talk is F algebra. So uh, I have a vector space, like H, in my talk is like second homology of hyperkernel manifold. Q is a non generate like, scalar product on H. So this is Babit Bogamo Fujiki form. Uh, and I can denote like R and K of H. It's just a orthogonal complement of uh, the image of the following map. Just multiplication by Q to the K. Okay, and, and F algebra is just a quotient of uh, symmetric algebra of H by the ideal generated of all complements. Uh, and like, the gradient is a bit different, so the gradient is multiplied by two. So this algebra is called F algebra. 
And uh, the point is what uh, with Li algebra or with F algebra is also Fabrenius algebra. And uh, important theorem is the following quote with F algebra uh, is exactly uh, the part generated by second Gamogia. So I take like the algebra consisting of all the two triples. And when uh, this is some reducible representation, and this reducible representation uh, of this the algebra which acts on Kagamoji of hypercanary fold. And I, right, in the previous slide, I said that this the algebra is a SOA 4B2 minus 2, but this 4B2 minus 2 comes from uh, 3, B2 minus 3, which is signature of very Bogomol for GK form on second Gamoja, and 1, 1 lattice, which is hyperbolic lattice. And uh, this comes from Mukai extension. So I start with my like, graded vector space, and I have three summons of degree 0, degree 2, degree 4, uh, and with the following like, new quadratic form Q tilde. Okay, so this one is Mukai extension. And the point with uh, Lie algebra X and Kokogamoji of hypercranial fold is a uh, SO of this uh, uh, Mukai extension vector space with uh, quadratic form Q tilde. And uh, with the algebra also acts on the homology of hypercranial fold. Um, so we have some interesting corollaries from this theorem. So Justin Saban proved that uh, if we have a reducible hypercranial manifold of complex dimension 6, when B2 is at most 23. 23 is a uh, second better number of the Gibbs scheme of points on K3. So it's like good, uh, good bound. And uh, the idea of the proof is the following. So uh, we know what is like representation which comes like on the part generated by second homology with highest weight, the highest weight on uh, zero zero part, and the point is what what are different what are the representations which appears in the composition of homology uh, uh, of hypercranial folds as the sum of models uh, of uh, SO four B two minus two uh, algebra. And the second, uh, we can go like, much further. So I proved that uh, if I have hypercranial manifold with vanishing called better numbers, then the second better number is bounded. So there's no like, exact boundary, like some 23 or different other, like, some other number, but we know it just is bounded. So I did the proof of the following. So uh, with, two, with a relation on better numbers of hypercranial uh, manifold, uh, which is called Solomon relation. And this comes from uh, uh, his Buchli Minoroch formula and uh, all symmetries of hypercranial manifold, all symmetries of Hodge numbers for hypercranial manifold. And the second, so uh, any even better number is decomposed uh, in the following way. So the first term is just dimension of uh, symmetric uh, power of second homology. And this one uh, is dimension of all other representation appears on. Uh, in the composition of hypercranial fold. So if I use both of them, I can prove that the basic number is bounded. So it's just computation. Uh -huh. Okay, so to get uh, generalized Kugel's attack construction, like in a normal Kugel's attack construction, I need Clifford models. So I have uh, H, which is fine dimensional, vector, fine dimensional vector space, and my talk is like second homology, and Q is uh, uh, two form. Uh, is Q is a form acting on this uh, H, and when we can, can consider the Clifford algebra in like a normal way. Uh, so just let me fix some notations. So we have alpha, which is uh, the Pyrrhic involution, and beta, which is uh, anti automorphism induced by uh, the following map. And then I can introduce A bar, which is just composition of alpha and beta for element A of uh, Clifford algebra. Um, so if I have uh, the model, Clifford model V, uh, when I can, I can introduce uh, Clifford invariant form. And Clifford, any Clifford form uh, is a form which, for which it, uh, the following relation holds. So this one. Um, but there exists some special form, which is called in trace uh, invariant form. So this form is just a trace of this, this element of Clifford uh, model. And this form is really good. So the first of all, 
this form is uh, symmetric and also Clifford invariant and non-generate. So it's not evident, but it's, if you need, need some computations, you can do it, and let's do. Okay, so now, like the most important thing of the talk, uh, the embedding of uh, like the uh, generalized Kubernetes attack embedding. So I start with some Clifford model of dimension, uh, which is divided by four, uh, with symmetric form tau, and uh, uh, assume that this form is not generate. Then for any element x from h, uh, let me say omega x, uh, let me define omega x as a tau of x, u, and v, and we get a map. So we should check that omega x is element from lambda 2 with star, but this is, this is due to this form is symmetric and uh, bilinear. Um, so this gives us an embedding of h in uh, lambda 2 v star for any Clifford model, for any of them. Uh, and the question, what is, uh, let's denote omega is image of h under this map. And what is omega? So the question, so to answer to this question, I need one uh, more definition. Uh, this is definition of case simplex structures. So I have a vector space. I have uh, omega capital, which is a space of dimension k in lambda 2 v star. And recall omega is the case simplex structure is two following properties Holds. So the first, if I have a uh, non-zero element omega in omega capital, uh, then omega small has rank maximal or the half dimension of V. And this gives us what the set of uh, degenerate elements is a quadric. And the second condition, this quadric should be uh, non-degenerate. So what is case simplex? It's not case simplex forms. Uh, but if you have Two simplex structure. It gives us the composition of V uh, on to V1 plus V2. The three simplex structures are known as hyper simplex structures due to Hitchin. But there is no geometric, like, no geometric meaning of k simplex structures. And uh, uh, it is known what we have if we have torus, which is a variety of hyper kernel manifold in good sense, so invariant. Uh, and the all rotations of hypercalculated structures, for example, when uh, the first gamology of torus carries a uh, uh, case simplex structure. So this is some deployment of it. And now we can answer the question, what is image of uh, embedded map? The image of embedded map uh, is a case simplex structure. So for vector space V. Okay. Now we can start the subalgebra generated by this image of embedding. So this subalgebra is isomorphic to uh, subalgebra generated by uh, second gamology uh, of hyperkernel manifold. So to F algebra. Uh, so to prove this, one need the following description of uh, F algebra of uh, vector space. So we start with uh, vector space V when F algebra is just the quotient of symmetric by this uh, ideal. So, and one should check that, uh, so it's more or less obvious that uh, uh, subalgebra generated by omega, or by double V, uh, is uh, uh, quotient of symmetric algebra. So one should check that ideal is uh, exactly this one. Okay, so now we have the following uh, diagram. So we start with H, which is uh, second homology of hypercranial fault. And we have embedding to lambda 2 v star. This one uh, appears as an element of uh, lambda bullet v star. And we have an image, which is double v. And uh, like, and Lie algebra, and uh, subalgebra in uh, lambda bullet v star generated by double v, which is A bar. Uh, bullet. So, and this subalgebra is isomorphic to F algebra of uh, H. Um, so now we know that if we start with any Clifford model, we can embed the part generated by second homology. But what happens with other homology of hypercranial fault? Because uh, it's not true that 
all cohomology of hypercranial fold generated by the second. You have some primitive parts even in fourth cohomology. So now the goal to construct good uh, Clifford model, to find some good one. Okay. Uh, so how, how many times do I have? For first minutes. Okay. There. Okay. Uh, so consider uh, two like endomorphism, L X and uh, lambda X uh, has endomorphism of uh, uh, lambda bodies with star, and uh, this endomorphism are given by uh, multiplication of uh, image of element X and of H. Uh, and the uh, coinvolution of omega x and uh, eta. So here I use form Q to identify V and V star. Okay, and also if I have element in Clifford algebra, uh, element A, uh, when, when uh, an action of it could be extended as uh, a derivation of algebra uh, lambda by the V star, uh, and we denote with element as delta A. Okay, and the point is what the algebra generated by uh, lambda x, omega x, uh, Lx and lambda x for all x in H uh, is isomorphic to the algebra of Mukai extension. It's the same algebra which acts on Kagamojo hypercranial hyper manifold. <coughs> so, I did the proof of the following. So, uh, and I use this fact that uh, Li, uh, what Li algebra is so HQ is isomorphic to lambda 2H, and I use embedding uh, of it in Clifford algebra uh, by the following map. So X wedge Y goes to 1, 1 over 2, X Y minus Y X. So this gives us an embedding of uh, this Li algebra in Clifford. But we have extended um, like Li algebra. Uh, and the point is what ex extended Li algebra, Li algebra of uh, Mukai extension uh, has uh, induced grading uh, on three components. So I have G uh, minus two, I have uh, G zero, I have G two. And I put, I map uh, L like, uh, the part generated by Lx to G two component, the part generated by omega x to G, G minus two component, and I use uh, this one, uh, I use this uh, map uh, to identify the subalgebra generated by commutators and uh, uh, G0. Okay. And now the theorem of existence. So uh, I mentioned it before, but for any Clifford model, I have embedding of the part generated by second homology. But uh, now I have to construct a good one, and the theorem is the following. So I'm starting with quadratic vector space H Q, uh, and to take any representation of uh, uh, Li algebra of Mukai extension when there exists a Clifford model V with inverse symmetric uh, bilinear form, uh, such that lambda by the twist star contains W like W calc uh, as a submodel. Okay, so I did the proof of the form. So let me assume that uh, W calc is uh, a reducible representation for, like, for simplicity. So then uh, say that V1 is just Clifford model, uh, like Clifford as a Clifford model over itself. And I have trace invariant form, which was constructed uh, five minutes ago. and. Uh, when the action of uh, extended uh, Li algebra of Mokai extension induce action of uh, uh, group spin of Mokai extension, which is double covering. And uh, now uh, uh, let us prove, should prove that this action uh, is faithful. To prove it, we need to prove that the center of this Li group acts non trivially on uh, lambda body at V1 star. <coughs> Okay, and uh, what is the center of this uh, Li group? The center of this group, Li group depends on uh, dimension of H tilde. If dimension is odd, or even we have like, different cases. So for 
odd case, we have one element in center, which is just minus one, and definitely it's uh, excellent trivially. Uh, if uh, uh, dimension is even, situation is much more complicated, but we have also element in the center which acts not really so. Uh, we can prove, one can prove that action is faithful. Okay, and now we have uh, a faithful uh, model uh, of uh, spin H, H tilde Q tilde. Uh, when by the linear mu, any reducible representation uh, of this Lie group contains, uh, is contained in uh, some power of uh, this one. So it's, I can find some n, which is maybe big enough, like some really big. Uh, and just let me take v is just uh, uh, like the sum of these v ones. So this one v is indeed Clifford model, and this Clifford model which we need to uh, find like embedding of cohomology uh, hypercarrying fault. Okay, so now I come back to the main theorem of talk. So I have hypercarrying manifold. Uh, now I have uh, Lie algebra G dot for hyperkernel fold uh, and Lie algebra G dot for torus. So this is Lie algebra generated by all SL2 triples. Uh, when I have uh, an abandoning of uh, Kagamoji of hyperkernel fold to Kagamoji of uh, torus with some shift, which is just difference of dimension of M and the uh, Clifford model V uh, of these models. Uh, and for any hyper for any complex structure, uh, I of a hypercalor type on my, my manifold where exists uh, a complex structure on torus such such that I have a morphism of uh, host structures. So uh, now I like to apply. So let's start with H is second homology of hypercalor fold. Uh, Q is by Wilbur Mo Fujiki form. Uh, and we know that Lie algebra consisting of all SL2 triples for hypercranial fold is just uh, Lie algebra of Mukai extension. Uh, then we can apply the embedding construction uh, to the pair HQ uh, and uh, like it's double V calc, uh, which is homology of hypercranial fold. So we obtain some Clifford model V. Uh, also, we have embedding of H to lambda 2 V star, and uh, image is a case complex structure on V, and uh, this embedding is a embedding of uh, Lie algebra models. Now I'd like to understand what happens with Hodge structure. So the Hodge decomposition on uh, Kagamoji <coughs> algebra is given by U1 action, uh, which belongs to Lie algebra, uh, orthogonal Lie algebra of uh, second Kagamoji a subalgebra of the algebra of Mukai extension. So, with the corresponding element uh, of this Li algebra, uh, this is some skew symmetric matrix. Uh, it acts uh, as a complex structure uh, on uh, first Kagamoji of like huge torus. So, when the, uh, this element is called mu, and uh, the weight decomposition under this element, uh, under this action, uh, gives us decomposition of uh, Kagamoji spaces uh, to host structures. So we have uh, action on Kagamoji of hypercarrying fold. We have the same action of, uh, on Kagamoji of torus, which is like value operator action. And uh, we know what the fact that host structure uh, is the same as the decomposition of uh, uh, action by value operators. <coughs> okay, so it's all, oh, thanks. Uh, okay, uh, so I skip like, polarization, but uh, if I introduce a polarization to original host structure, then uh, I obtain a billion variety. So it's indeed the same as a Kugel, like, for Kugel attack case. So if I have a polarization on my, uh, I have polarized host structure, then I have uh, a billion variety. So almost the same. And what for tape groups? Mm. So what do you mean? It's the no, I, I don't know what my state group, but uh, the question is how are they related? I don't know, maybe. So you 
Do you have a question? Yeah. Thanks. We'll be back in a few minutes.